This is how narcissists feel deep inside when you finally walk away for good. Everyone, welcome to another episode. Today's episode delves into how narcissists experience emotions when you decide to part ways, when you finally opt for self-preservation. But before we dive into the topic at hand, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. My aim here is not to push you away, quite the contrary. I wish to ensure you don't miss out on upcoming videos and updates. I have exciting content in the pipeline, so go ahead, hit that button, and let's get started. So, what is it like for narcissists when you choose to leave? It's a question that often elicits varied responses. Many assume that narcissists don't feel pain or sadness when you walk away, especially if they already have a new source of supply lined up. But let's be clear, I can't speak for every single narcissist, and I won't attempt to. However, I can provide you with an honest perspective from my point of view. When people have walked away from narcissists unexpectedly, they experience emotions akin to wanting to leave as well, but not away from you. Rather, you are walking toward a goal, not away from a narcissist. Choosing yourself is perfectly acceptable. But when someone exits the narcissist's life without their readiness, it indeed stings. It's a painful experience, one that can be quite distressing. However, this must not be construed as an invitation to return to your narcissistic partner or grant them another chance. When I mention that narcissists feel hurt when you decide to walk away, it's important to understand that the reason you're leaving, more often than not, is because they've subjected you to pain. They've hurt you, violated the terms and conditions of your relationship, prompting your decision to exit the space and prioritize yourself, freedom, and happiness. But often, narcissistic individuals may act as though they never anticipated your departure. They might act surprised, as if they never imagined you would leave them. This response is reminiscent of stages of grief, with narcissists initially entering a state of denial. They may deny the reality of your departure, insisting that breakups have occurred many times before, suggesting this is just another fleeting moment. It's as if they're in shock and disbelief. However, once they realize you are truly gone, their disbelief transitions into anger. They may engage in the blame game, directing accusations at you, expressing anger over your decision to leave, and even claiming you never loved or cared for them. They're bewildered as to how you could abandon them, and they express this in their anger. Now let's clarify that even if a narcissist appears to have moved on quickly or secured a new supply, it doesn't mean that their feelings for you have disappeared entirely. Emotions aren't that easily extinguished. They are still caring for ex-partners while beginning new relationships. In such cases, narcissists may hastily enter new relationships in an attempt to mask their feelings from the previous one. They may be trying to create the illusion that they're thriving without you. Their motivation often revolves around maintaining a particular image. Finally, narcissists are often terrified that you will find someone who treats you with kindness, warmth, compassion, and unconditional love. Especially in cases of intimate relationships, such as ex-boyfriends, girlfriends, or spouses who exhibit narcissistic traits, they fear that you will be cherished and adored by someone who truly values you. This notion deeply disturbs them. As we come to the end of today's discussion, I'd like to hear from you. Among the fears that narcissists and their enablers experience, which one resonates with you the most? What do you believe they dread you saying or doing? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Remember, there is life beyond narcissistic abuse, and your journey to healing and recovery is important. Keep the conversation going in the comments, express what resonates with you from this video, and please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more valuable insights. Thank you, and may you have a beautiful day ahead. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a free book and information about one-on-one -on -one consultations to support you on your healing journey.